Let's turn to the plan to speed up the environmental review process for major projects. These assessments can take up to six years, but the Conservatives want to cap them at 24 months. One project that could benefit from the new rules is the Northern Gateway Pipeline to take oil from Alberta's oil sands to the B.C. coast. Margot McDermott has our story tonight. Emotions in B.C. are already high over the Northern Gateway Pipeline. New rules to speed up the environmental review of the project have cranked them up even more. First Nations are now promising protests and court battles to stop it. It's an incredibly stupid uh, notion to apply this legislation retroactively, given the fact that this is a, a very, very volatile situation and there's a massive opposition. Natural Resources Minister Joe Oliver spent the day defending plans to fast-track environmental assessments so they don't last more than two years. It means the review of the Northern Gateway Pipeline, already underway, could end early. There'll be plenty of time for people to have an opportunity who have a direct interest in, in a particular project to make their views known, including, of course, Aboriginal communities. The pipeline would bring Alberta oil to the B.C. coast and to Asia by tanker. A spokesman for Enbridge says the timing is crucial. He'd like to see the 18 months left in the assessment cut in half. The clock is ticking, though, quite clearly. So I think there's, there's a need for the, for the country to move forward here and to, uh, to make best use of these opportunities while they exist. But critics say people need time to have their say on such big projects. Once a week there is an incident somewhere on our pipeline system. We need to take those kinds of issues into account, especially when this pipeline is going through people's backyards. But the government says it's just trying to weed out professional protesters who are trying to stop resource projects that it considers crucial to Canadian jobs and the economy. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.